deep digger down. He's back. Come on! Get in! Hello? Right, I'm off metal detecting. And I'm not going to be on my own today. Oh, no, I'm going with my new friend. I've got a friend in Frankfurt. Woohoo! Um, a guy knocked on my door last night and introduced himself as a metal detectorist in Frankfurt. And we've decided to go on a hunt together today. So he's coming over. He'll be here in seven minutes and we'll, we'll get in the woods where I've been going. Um, you won't see him. Uh, what should we call him? I'll ask him what he wants to be called, because he doesn't want to be known, he, does, he w certainly doesn't want to be on camera, so you're not going to see him. Uh, but yeah, I'm going out with somebody today, make a nice change. Okay, so here's where we went today. Uh, this is where I went on my first hunt, my second hunt, third hunt, and today I was out with my friend, and we walked up this path and we decided... I'd already more or less decided with him, I said I wanted to do one of these. Um, we'd have a look around and see which <clears throat> see which looked the best. We decided on here. We spent about 20-30 minutes in here and we weren't finding anything. So I said, okay, look, let's go back to where I was yesterday because here, hunt number three, I was finding a lot of good things, some really nice relics. So let's go back in there. So we came over here, hunted in here, and in this particular bit, he found, uh, he started finding a lot of coins. There's a, a very old path goes through here, and he was finding some very old coins. I won't tell you anymore, you'll see it in the video. But yeah, we, we concentrated on here for most of our hunt today. Right, we've just started, and we, we noticed as soon as we got here, there's one trash site right in the middle of the forest. We're very, very deep in here, and there's a trash site. Um, so let's see what's in it. I haven't had a look through yet. That looks like it's off some kind of child's toy. We've got a big bag. Ten or ten. No, that's empty. Got a lighter. Does it work? Probably not. Yeah, proper, proper trash site here. No idea. What's this? Westphalia. Don't know. Oh, a pen set. A pen set. No pens in it. There's a pencil. Found a pencil. Hey, and it's still got lead in it. I'm taking that with me. That's all right. I knew I'd find some. I knew it was worth stopping to have a look in it. Rubber, mini classic, Nintendo, licensed by Nintendo, what's in here, what's this, I don't believe it, I don't believe it, I've just found Zelda, I found Zelda, the computer game, unbelievable, well that's made me happy, I'm, I'm going home now, I'll leave him, he's I don't know where he's gone. He's detecting over there somewhere. I'm happy. That's all I wanted. A Zelda game. I'm happy. That's all I needed to keep me going for the day. While I'm here though, what else is there? We've got a little flashlight. What's that? A bell off a, off a bicycle. God, these, are, these guys have variety, don't they? I don't know what that is, it looks like some kind of trap. A trap or a jack or something. Oh, we've got a cheese grater. A cheese grater. Oh, this is fantastic. I found a lot of junk sites in my time, but... Oh, we've got... A... Right, that plug's in. That's a European plug. What's at the other end? Not wrong with that, it's some kind of adapter. Yeah, that'll do, I'll take that as well. There's a lot of things here. A lot of things. Oh, we've even got shampoo. We've got shampoo. Organics. I used to use organics, but it got too dear, so I couldn't afford to use it anymore. I've got my own organics. Woohoo! What's this? I don't know. Oh, that's a bell. That's a bell off a bike. Yeah, I'm happy with this trash site. I found a few decent things there. Oh, what's that? Oh, I've got a, I've got a comb. I, I haven't got a comb at home. You know, you're all laughing, thinking I'm I'm joking, but I'm really not. I haven't got my own comb. 
I've got a comb now. But I have found some things. Now, I know it sounds manky, but I don't care. This is a pack of big razors. And I've taken one out, and look, there's nothing wrong with the blade because it's protected by uh, plastic. And I've run out of razors, so I'm taking them home. They're coming with me. And I've found this as well. What is it? Oh, yes. I've just found a Sharps calculator. A calculator. My third calculator in, in Frankfurt. That is unbelievable. Well, we haven't been having any luck at all today. Um, we tried a new location. It didn't work. I've come back to where we were yesterday. And uh, I found these. You know, I found a... 10 Renton Fennig from 1924. Um, that's from, 19, I think I read 1907 or something. I've no idea what that is with a wire coming out of the bottom. Don't know. But I've just found a pen knife. And I love finding them, so. Wahey! Another one for my collection. One of these days when I get a bit of money behind me, I'm going to put all my pen knives in a display case and put them on the wall. I know they're nothing special and they're all rusted away, but hey, there's a lot of history be behind every knife. Well, it will forecast rain today. Heavy rain as well. And it hasn't rained a drop. It's actually been very nice weather. But if it does rain... No problem, I've just found an umbrella. There's a slight bit missing off the top, but I'm not too worried about that. It's an umbrella, it works. Look, you hold it up, it does the job. I'm dry, I'm dry. It's an umbrella. Okay, my friend uh, Joanne, there she is. Well, what do you want me to call you? Joanne, Susan, whatever you want to call him or her. Um, Six coins, six coins, and we think they're all 1800s in a coin spill just under this tree. So, how cool is this? He says there's still loads of signals, and he wanted me to try it with a pinpointer because he hasn't got one. So, I'm here now and see if we can find any more. Okay, well, I went over Sarah or Samantha's uh, hole, Deborah, sorry. I went over a hole with uh, the pro, pro pointer, and only one more coin came out, but I think. It's 1890, I don't know, it's about 1890. So, yeah, a coin. And we had a bit of a discussion. I says, no, it's your coin, it's your hole. He says, no, no, you found it. Top guy. I love this guy. And look what I've just found. Look what I've just found. Are you ready for this? Woohoo! Get in! I found a ring. I found my first ring. In Frankfurt. Now, it's nothing special. It's not gold. It needs cleaning up. And there's no markings on it. But hey, it's a ring. A ring is a ring at the end of the day. So I'm very, 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 very happy with that. Okay, today's tip of the day. Ticks. Ticks. If you don't know what they are, Google ticks. They're the most disgusting little insect in the world. Um, the carrier disease, I think it's Lyme's disease, and it's very dangerous, very dangerous. So you need to protect yourself against ticks. I've only ever had one touch wood. I've been very, very, very lucky with ticks. Only one. I got in the shower one night, and it was embedded in my stomach. It had literally, it, its claws had grabbed into my stomach, and it was eating away at my flesh. I had to pick it, and I could feel it ripping my flesh out as I got it and it was the most horrible experience I've ever had and I found out later they do spread this nasty disease I think it's Lyme's disease um, the lad I've been detecting with today he reminded me of that and he did get very ill from from a tick apparently and he very very kindly when he came to pick me up today um, he brought me some tick spray this is for ticks and mosquitoes now, I haven't found many mosquitoes here yet, it's been very good. 
but uh, I didn't know you could get a spray which covers both ticks and mosquitoes so fantastic I'm telling you this lad I went out with is, is amazing he's such a nice genuine lad and I think I've made a really good friend there hopefully um, he might never get in touch again I don't know but I think he's invited me on to one of his patches sometime so fingers crossed but yeah ticks always protect yourself against ticks that's my tip of the day and even without the spray there are still precautions you can take such as tuck your your jeans tuck your trousers into your socks so they can't climb up your legs um, wear long sleeves stay out of long grass that's the love long grass so just take them little precautions and let's uh, Oh, let's just all kill ticks. Let's all go on a tick hunt. Let's have a metal detectors tick hunt day. All we do, we don't take as metal detectors. We just go out with spray and we just spray every field and every forest in the world and let's just get rid of them forever. Yeah, that's a better idea. Right, well, since I found that ring, I found absolutely nothing and uh, uh, Joanne, Joanna, or Joe, if you want to call him Joe, has uh, got another signal here. He's promising me this is going to be another coin. He's found lots and lots of coins around here and I haven't found any. So I thought we'd do a live dig and just uh, see what it is. He's found that many coins, I think he's getting bored of finding coins. And I've found nothing. Oh, he's got it, he's got it. It's in his hand, it's in his hand. What is it? It's gold. It's going to be gold. No, it's that. I can see it. What? That. No. Oh, still in his hand. Oh, it is a coin. It is a coin. Another 1800s coin. Can we get a date on it, uh, Deborah? No chance, no. No. But 1800s, and I found about 10 the other day, and they were all about 1875, and the ones um, Ruth has been finding today all seem to be about the same size and age, so about 1875. But I found nothing apart from my ring, but I'm happy with my ring. But now I'm just carrying on on this hot spot. Oh my god. That's how many he's found today. I found one. And the one I found was in his hole. Oh, oh he's dropped that. Beep, beep, beep. Hey, look what I've just found. <laughs> A pine cone. We've just lost his thimble. Yeah, so I'm going to stick around here with him now because I'm finding nothing. I must apologise for my mucky hand. I stupidly brought two right gloves out today and I forgot my left one. Um, I found these two buckles earlier on and as I say um, Sarah she found some loads of coins here so I thought right I'll stick around here in first uh, hole three coins all from the 1800s about 1890 um, so yeah fantastic it's just absolutely littered with coins and we're not talking new every coin is 1800s 1870 to 1890 you see there's a path going through here but this is modern this is modern but uh, Julie she seems to think he seems to think that this was like a picnic area like uh, a lawn or something in the past but uh, she, Barbara might be right I don't know but anyway we're gonna carry on up here there 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 he is look that's that's the most you're gonna see of him you're never gonna guess what I've just found you won't guess. No, it won't one of them. It won't one of them either. It won't one of these. Another ring, two rings in one day. And this one, I'm telling this is probably my oldest ring ever. I can't tell you anything about it, but that looks so, so old. It's so flimsy. I can't try and bend it back into shape. It'll snap. But it's got three holes there. Maybe three stones went in it. I don't know. I don't know. But hey, wow, two rings in one day. Chuffed to bits. I'm telling you, Keithy Six is crapping his pants. He knows I'm right behind him in the, in the ring wars competition. 
I'm up to about six now for the year. Six. I'm right behind you, Keithy. Watch your back, pal. Woo! Right, this is the best signal I've had today on the Garrett 80 Pro. I think it was uh, number 81, very solid and very deep. If it's solid and shallow, it's usually a bottle top or something. If it would have been one of the 1800 coins we've been finding, it, it would have been jumping around. This is a solid 81 at about 10-15 centimetres, so I'm excited about this. I'm not doing it live, I'll show you what it is when, uh, when I've got it out. Right, I've got it out, guys. You want to know what it is, don't you? You're dying to know what it is. Well, do you see this big pile of muck? Well, it's the piece of muck in the middle of the muck. It's just a piece of shrapnel. Another piece of shrapnel. I left Berlin to get away from shrapnel, and all I'm finding is shrapnel. Sod's law. That's what you get for doing a semi-live dig. It's time to show you a bit of history on some of the finds I had in one of my last hunts. If you remember this badge, um, I've done a little bit of research and from some help of you guys giving me some information we found out it's it's a choral society you know like a choir a choir from my local village uh, Niederad so that's what that is and it's from about 1900 but I can't find out any more than that um, so that's that and there was this item as well I wanted to go over I had no idea what this was. Apparently it's very famous. I had no idea. It's a very famous statue from Belgium. That's the one I found. It's so famous that they've made his willy into corkscrews. It's, no, it's basically a Belgium statue called something like the weeing boy. The boy who wees or something. And you can see the the grotesque uh, souvenirs which are coming out of this story. So that's that. And this is the actual statue. <clears throat> now, I do have a little bit of history about it. There you see the boy. He's made of bronze. He's having a wee in a fountain. And basically, there's a lot of legends about this. Um, the most popular legend is that in 1142... There was a two-year-old lord, okay? He was only two years old, and his army was fighting with another army. So, they hung him in a tree um, to give them good luck whilst they were having this big fight. Whilst he was hung in the tree, in a basket, um, he, he, he basically started weeing, and he weed on the troops. The troops went on to lose the battle. So, that is the the most popular story about it, but there's four or five. It depends which one you believe, but I do like that story. Because this boy weed on the troops, the troops lost. Um, and yes, a lord, two-year-old lord. So that's your history lesson for today, guys. Right, I've just found another rubbish dump. I'm telling you, best finds of the day are always in these rubbish dumps. i found another pair of trainers. Uh, are they ASICs or whatever? No, I think they're just cheap rubbish, but they look alright. I'll take them. There's one without a lace, but I'm sure I can find a lace to sort them out. They're alright, are them? They'll do for work. What else have we got? We've got books. I Sniper. Stephen Hunter. Is it in English? Is it in English? It's in English! I've got an English book! You beauty! Come on! Get in! I'm having that. That's my keeps pile. Got another one here. Mm, this looks a bit... Torsten Muller. No, this is going to be in German. No, I don't want that. Sarah might want it. I'll ask her if she wants that. What's this one? The Connoisseur. Connoisseur? Yeah, that's in German as well. It's a shame that they invented this language. Cause if it weren't for German language, it'd be alright. There'd be loads of books. Yeah, that's German as well. Frank Herbert. Not bad though. God, it stinks. It stinks. Is there all good in here or what? A glove. Can always use gloves. Gloves always come in handy. Well, there's another book. There's lots of books, you see. What's that? There's some in that. 
Feinster Senf. I don't know what that is, but it's it's full. It's half full. I can use that. I could do with finding a hardback, you know, so the pages inside aren't ruined. Yeah, that's German as well. I'm not really into these German books because I don't speak German, but uh, what else have we got? Die Liebe Wascht. I don't know. German. German. I think what I can safely say is it isn't a German who's dumped all this rub. It isn't an Englishman who's dumped all this. It's a German. Oh, we've got a comic. We've got a comic. Hey, Stephen King, creep show. Come on. Oh, it's in German. That's sacrilege. You can't do that to Stephen King comics. Oh, what else have we got? Yeah, we've got clothes. Some jeans there. I'm always needing jeans. Some kind of top. Mm. There's no what's... Oh, tissues. And there's, it's still full. Nearly full. They'll do. They can go on my keeps pile. Which is over there. Anything else before I go? In fact, there's two tubes there. Look, two tubes of the good stuff. Oh, and a spoon. Found a spoon. Without the metal detector. Get in. Yeah, nothing else, nothing exciting. But hey, I'll settle for that. I've got a Stephen Hunter Eye Sniper book. A lovely pair of trainers. You know, they're quite new. Some tissues. Oh, no, that's not mine. Is that it? I thought I had more than that. Anyway, I'll settle for that. Tissues, trainers, oh, and a spoon. Because I've got loads of little spoons, I've got a big one now. So trainers, spoon, tissues and a book. You see, some people dump things thinking it's rubbish, but it isn't. Some of it's actually pretty good. Well, I'm done in, guys. I'm absolutely shattered. I was tired when I went to work this morning and aching. And I'm close to collapsing now. I haven't eaten all day and it's about four or five o'clock. Um... This is what else I found. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven coins and one token. I think I've got a token in there, which is quite interesting. And I don't know what this round thing is. It's it's just been a coin day. It really has. Um, Cheryl, he's found, I think, well, 21 coins the last time I saw him. I think I found about 12 or 13, maybe 15. Uh, but two rings, that's my best find of the day. Two rings, very happy with that. So I'm happy to call it a day with two rings. Woohoo! But I don't like filming coins, you know. The odd one, one or two in a video, fantastic, but I don't want to show you me finding 15 coins, it's boring. Um, coins don't do it for me unless they're silver or very old. But yeah, I do, don't get me wrong, these are all, apart from one from the uh, 1800s, love them. Love anything, 1800s or, or before, happy with that. So yeah, it's been a good day, a good day, and I've, I've found a new friend, um, Joanna. Wherever he's gone. Well, Annabelle's found a ring. So that's two for me, one for him. And look at it, how weird is that? It's been made out of wire. They've wrapped wire around. But it's actually got a gemstone in it. Some kind of stone in the middle of it. Really, really interesting. I don't know. That's really weird. I'm guessing the stone actually came off some other jewellery and they've just uh, attached it to this wire to make a little ring. Very nice. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet for the next video. Um, the weather forecast isn't fantastic, uh, but I've, I've got a little bit of money come now. My mum sent me some money and I'm waiting for some through PayPal, so money should be okay now. So I think I'm going to get a tram into Frankfurt. I might even be able to walk it. It's, I can see it from here, but I think it might be a long walk. 
I think I'll go into Frankfurt and have a look around. I might do a, a Frankfurt tour video. Or I might go to a, a museum. I know there's a one of the most famous museums in uh, in Europe for dinosaurs and things like that. So I might go there. I'm really I really want to go there. So I don't know. We'll see. Uh, weather permitting. Maybe a museum. Maybe a tour. Maybe metal detecting. We'll see.